hello guys wherever you're watching us from as you can see tuko hapa na truth dog mwenyewe na tuko na various online media here without further ado wacha tunikaribisha tu salimia karibu sana your ladies and gentlemen kama ki kama kawa truth watch dog hapo zi na ile tuko lika dawa mkipenda mnameza mkikata tuna wamezesha kwani iko nini na tuko na ka evidence ukweli au temwi ukweli unasemwa karibuni kwa kiti mimi ndio na serve ama vipi <laughs> Yeah. Hey, what's the kwani uogopi kusema ukweli? Ai, unafaa kuogopa kusema uongo. Mm. That is actually how it should be. Mm. We should be truthful people, mm. unajua? Mm. Because our society is rotten and we need to step up against the rot mm. in order for us to try and actually assure the upcoming generations mm. that they have a place to call home. Mm. Yes. Mm. Nasikia unasema uko na evidence. Eh? Mambo ambayo unasema yako na evidence. Watu watajuaje iko na evidence? Ama unapataje hiyo evidence? Uh, okay, unlike other YouTubers, I don't just do content for the sake of doing it. And that's why sometimes I get mad and I call media Kideri Media. Why do I call them Kideri Media? It's just taking in anything that is brought on table and you serve the people. You need to do thorough investigation. Okay? So for me, I do investigations before, prior to. That's why I need to know that I have a case that I have a case that I have But then the evidence that I have been given, it's not watertight. Because kuna ile evidence unafaa kupatia public. Should this person take uh, you know the way the route to the law like anataka uh, kufuata na kisheria. Uko na evidence gani watertight yenye itakusaidia to stand against the uh, the person who has actually accused you. So that's why ni inanichukua muda to find out hizo vitu na wakati na post niko so much nimeridhika. Hapana, hii lazima iende hivi kwa sababu kuna ukweli. Yeah. Use it tomorrow we expose the Pluto commentators. Do you let the little dog think dog? Mbona mnasema ni expose the Pluto? Si expose Pluto mimi. Ni expose commentator. Na by the way, kwa hizi ni zote, najua kuna watu wanafuatilia hapa. Commentator na kuchukia sikupendi siku kabisa. Na kama unangoja ni kuishe, be careful. Unaweza kuwa kwanza kukuisha. Ah, uh, Pluto is my friend by the way. I don't know why you guys are taking things out of the proportion. Okay? Ah uh, niliulizwa tu nikajibu like uh, kama msema amekuambia keza ni yake pia nafaa ku prove na title unaelewa? It's not like uh, kulikuwa na some upheavals ama nini. I think Pluto akachukua hiyo kitu fiti na aka jam na aka post zile vitu zinyasi share privately. But commentator alikuja aka aka change vitu ikawa ni kama mimi na sim. Mzee si nieri ni sim kwa demu kwa sugar mami, kashosho fulani mali fulani. Una sim pia je mwanaume? It's not possible. What happened is this and I I think I should share with you the video right so that guys actually we can clear the air first of all to deal with commentator sawa na nitawafungulia kwa the pluto ndio muone si eti ni message hapa ni video na edit wacha nifungue the pluto last time uliniambia nimeanika namba yake it's so unfortunate ah pluto okay so ni wafungulia the pluto ndio huyu Amsioni hizi text zenye tumeongea. Mnaona ni tarehe ngapi? Hizi mm. text msizisome kwa nguvu. Okay. But mnaangalia? Hizi ni text za lini? Thursday. Thursday ndio Friday. Bado tunaongea tu. November 19th November. So hizi stories zingine zote ni porojo. Si mnaona text zenye ametumia kiniambia media gani zinamtomea? Tungekuwa na bonga hizi vitu kama ni adui yangu. Nugget. Haya wakati nime expose namba yake angalia Daniel Njoroke amemtumia bob ku confirm ni yeye eh uh, msiangalie balance ya pluto haya mm. you have received one shilling from benson hizi namba zote ni kwa namcall labda mnaweza uonyesha tu wa kenya no 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 sio hizo namba kwa namba ni kweli okay namba ndio hizi mimi mm. ongea na pluto lakini msijaribu kwa zoom ni wewe mm. unaona <laughs> the thing is uh, we talk with him a lot and a lot on things this is just a brother fight but nataka kwa prove that was on 10th june si ndio 10th june hii video yenye commentator alikuja hapa akaweka ati anaonyesha ni changes copy of video ati mimi nime simp na lia oi pluto tafadhali nisaidie na subscribers channel yangu iko chini no ngwe anyway this is the video okay sasa niwaekea kwa microphone ama niwaekea wapi cheza tu kidogo ya tuweke tu wasi just listen Let's 
Nasikia message ni kina nani? Ni any YouTubers. I told Pluto nimekuwa poisoned, but I don't need your help. Just one others. I was on a come coin what you come cover my story. Many of them are not uh, oh, some of them not many. Some of them are not genuine enough. Wanaweza ku poison. Sai alpha mwana mtule amekuwa poison. Over the same same case. Was on a kuita eh come to do EV one on your celeb you go up there. I was a victim. I was poisoned. So ni kaambia ni aje eh manzee chunga pale. So commentator ameenda amechukua hii video ya kuwon all the YouTubers including yeye na yeye wake menona. Including all of them. Kuwa careful hapo nje. Anasema TV video nilikuwa na simple number subscribers. How do you beg for subscribers cried? Ndio nini nifanyike? We don't do things such way. So it was so unfortunate that who kijana anaitwa commentator. Kazi yake ni kuleta wezi kwa platform. Wana advertise. Okay? They are they are scams. They are scamming games. Alafu instead of him being remorseful, being thoughtful, anakuja ku justify action zake kwa kufanya nini? Kwa kuendelea kusema oh sijui anatuingilia na kwa kwa nyama inbox ana simple. Nani ana simple na mwanaume bana? Wewe si mtemu? Ile ni simple na wewe unajua kuna kashima hapo ka changasija. Naweza kuna I feel so bad that this guy can stop this. Wewe bro kama unapita pita kwa. Najua Mr. Kangi ta bizangu kwa interview yako. Naje. So. Naje. Kalala mingi niko katikati ya mingi ya bana. Yeye ni citizen THC na CIA. Unaelewa? So it's so unfortunate for someone to stoop that low that unajaribu ku justify your actions of actually uh, advertising thieves. Miss unachukia ma YouTubers wacha niwaambie YouTubers. Ndio ukue na jina huku nje. Subscribers wako ndio wanafanya ukue na jina. Your followers and subscribers are the ones who are making you you. And it is so unfortunate for you to mislead them for the sake of having views. Yeah. Views. Yeah. Na ulipwe tu pesa kidogo kidogo hapa na mikorofi, we will advertise. Your platform is being used to dupe Kenyans and steal from them, literally stealing. So and instead of him going low, like Anze, I need to rebrand. Our soki come, I need to be sure like whatever they are actually bringing on table is real. Una mislead your followers and subscribers. Na bado na chipiga kifua. Ati, truth watch to kukwesha. Arudi enda kafanya zile vitu zake za DJ Afro wana B. Yote tumemaliza kuna mwingine? Okay, na tukiongea kuhusu mambo ya exposing na kuna vile Kenyan Prince amekuongelea pale na kakutusi akasema kwamba wewe si wali yako kukubishana na yeye kwamba wewe unaishi nyumba ambayo hata uwezi afford cutting. Unaweza ambia aje Kenyan Prince kwa hapo nje. First of all naishi hapa. Unajua ni vizuri usiishi kwa cutting lakini uishi kwako. Kuna tofauti. Unaona hata ukitengeleza nyumba ya makaratasi lakini ni kwako. Hiyo ko fit by the way. Let me tell you. Kuliko ishi unaonyesha watu house tour alafu kesho landlord anakwambia bro <laughs> nyumba inahitaji renovation ama kanzo na kuja naandika pale x unaonyesha watu hey this is my house house tour nonsense anyway let me address this kenyan unajua yule lazima tuweke futi sababu lazima tupime akili yake huko kijana hata futi moja fiki this boy actually is disturbed you guys should notice that ukiangalia ile video there is no way utakuwa na 6 million na uko na mapimple kwa uso nikaa uko na acne una bango ya so mbili na unaambiwa tu kwa na gari ya tu unaambiwa tu linunua gari sijui 6 million that audi was being sold on uh, on gigi na ilikuwa inaenda for 2.5 million okay and it is not clear kama ame buy ama ni ama ni haya purchase ama ni car for hire it's not clear because hata nyumba sikizo una rentisha as you put it up for sale una get so this guy Ah, uh, nikifaa tu kumjibu in terms of age, anasema mimi ni mzae. I think mimi ni mzae in terms of wiseness. I'm ahead of time in terms of the, you know, judgment of stuff. But yeye anataka ile vita ya kutusiana. Kama nimesema bro unadanganya. Prove otherwise. Wacha matusi. Da? Don't call names. Oh, sijui wewe ni age ya babangu. Age ya babako mimi si marehemu bana. Una get? Uwezi ni compare na mzame dedi. Wewe kama wazazi wako walikufa, ole wako pole. Wacha ku compare sana watu wenye wamekufa. Niambie unakaa kibe. Niambie unakaa sijui eh mtu wako hai at least jafiko inange hivyo. Wacha ku compare na watu ambao washatoka kwa earth. Tunaongea vitu za earth. Respect your parents. They are dead. Sleep well. Respect that. So it is so shameful that ye ni mwizi. Ubo ni mwizi wa I will prove beyond doubt. He's a thief. Hizi vitu zote na brack. Anagonga mademu wa girl. Anagonga wanaume hapa chini. Sasa hii hata kuna video I'm supposed to leave. That's why I think I have my phone here. 
Nataka msikize hii audio. Kijana na hii ni video ya jana si tujuzi. Okay? But then muna muone password yangu. Next time muone na kukupa at least can retrieve the videos. Wacheni niingie hapa muone. Hawa ni watu wengi sana. But this one I have not even released. Hii sasa ni inaitwa exclusive. Huyu kijana huyu ameibiwa. Okay? This is the conversation they used to have. Bro, it have ita bidi ni kutafote ni kueleze. Uni Kenyan Prince mnajua namba ake. But, mutasema labda na forge. Sasa hii sauti, si munaona ni forwarded? Mm -hmm. To who? Yeah. To me. Yeah, By who? 0706 mm -hmm. 2444 itulia hapo. Sindio? Mm -hmm. So, huyu jamaa alikuwa ga live date 17 bla 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 bla. Ndiyo hii audio. Kijana nasema hako na pesa na naomba lipe tao tao. Sikia? Wani liso niyani. Wana nikuwa ya bilio singina hapa inanisi. Yes. Wata ni kipu. Kijana kwa na pesa, lakini ya naomba alipe tau tau. Bro, if you have money, you have money. Una struggle laje kulipa 50,000. Na uko na mamilioni ya pesa. Alafu kwa hapo na jipiga kifua, oh, I'm rich, I'm rich. Let me tell you the story about iyo 6 million enye mna postiwa huku na nini. Kideri media. This is what happened. Huu kijana alienda kwa yana. Uyo jama mwenye wa dini beshti yangu, anaitua njonjo. Unaget? Anaitua njonjo ni beshti yangu, tunajuana. So this guy goes there, anapata, unajua, kuna wala asa wanakuja gana cash, kuna asa wanakuja kulipa maybe via bank, awezi kata pesa, wewe ni, wewe ni, wewe ni business person. So njonjo amepata pesa zake pale. Huu kijana amenda kuchukua, sijua likuwa amenda kuchukua gari, sisi sema jachukua ama amechukua, amenda pale kuchukua gari. Amechukua tu video tu video kiasi, Alafu wakachukua video pamoja na ya pesa haka post pali. Una get? And let me tell you, hakuna, haku, hakuna aga urafiki na pesa. The moment you post such kinds of amount, una endanger the life of Njonjo, una endanger any other person that is around there. Juwa say huku inje, tukona shida. Na shida ni kitu moja. Pesa. Ukitu show pesa, walai mtu anezaka kukukujia. Ukifikiri ati, oh, sasa weni mjanjezi. These guys will trace you, for example, Njonjo. Mtu wakimambia neja bro, nataka gari. The same, same day ume post. Jonja atoka, ah bro, kari ziko, kam njoo, siju nini. Asukia manze ya metolewa, ile pesa mulikuwa muna piga nao kipindi, tunaitaka hapa. You are endangering the lives of mm. people, you know. Very true, yeah. Mm. That was not his money. Mm. It wasn't. That is why Jonja called me, mm. and I recorded him. The video is on YouTube, okay. Mm. And I'm like, hey bro, manze, ine video meleta noma. Muliza video gani, bro. Ine video nyo kijana metu kwa na zine pesa bana noma. Una get? Because that is a business person. Thinking that that would advertise, Aku anajua hii video nenda kupostiwa. Aliku anajua ni show. Ayani tuile show off. Kijana li post video. Video kaenda. Eh, Kenyan man flounced 6 million. Was the money real? It was legit. Because it was in the business premises na iliku emenunuwa gari. Melewa. So do iku kuwa yake. Lakini ya lipigana kipindi na yaka post kipindi. Kipindi na cost businesses. Una get? Ina cost businesses sana sana. So the guy there claims he has 6 million. Yet awezi lipa tao. Iyo ni sauti yake siya. Mate mwa golf sa hii, hata ukiingia YouTube yangu, ndi hawa? Mimi suwa danganyi. Hapa hapa sa hii, siye tini story ya kesho. Huyo ni hae nafani expose, si yoga timu. Nafani expose huyo ni likuwa na kutu. Expose lini wei? Huyo? Hmm. Huyo kichapa wate tuwa ngoja kitoko. You know you need to do that investigation before limo kiboko. Hmm. Uh, Unazafanya ma, 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 ma expose za ujinga. It work fine. So I need to be careful. Uh, this is it. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen. Turn us to the ladies. I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna do
something else. So ni kama anasema kuna mgonjwa na ni emergency. He needs 30,000 and atarefanda atarefand jioni jioni hiyo siku kwa sababu ni kwa sababu ya usiku. Kwa life. Na kwa ile ya serious tu kama mimi sana tukikupea hizi ndio utarudisha vipi? Akasema ndarudisha hizi pesa within some hours nitakuwa nimerudisha. Nikamwambia ba Ole nani? Mimi ndio naomba mademo wa golf pet. Sasa tajiri mbona kwa kwa, kwa ma inbox za mademo wa golf wale pale wanafanya kazi ya inaitwa sijui shagal, kazi ya nyumba. When is onko unaendesha magari, unaonyesha hatu simu tatu. Please listen, when it comes to business, don't you ever brag with the vitu zenye zinaisha. Unachukia simu sahi. Uwezi ambia mse ni kona iPhone 15. Doesn't make sense. The moment unachukua simu kutoka kwa yo market, value down. So uwezi brag na simu. You cannot brag with a vehicle. Kaa chini mami. Mi ni sana hafaku ambia ni aja mbele mbao. Unajua mi ni kona dogo. Hafu na nuza dogo gani. Ni kona flat mbili ni mesma meisha. Flat ndo hizo. E ni kona shamba ya katano. Ndo yoyo meingia. Cheki. Sasa juzi. Nimefungua biashara gani KFC tumechapa contract nao shamba na pandama viazi that is now what you call assets real money real wealth you cannot brag eh hey, niko na Samsung niko na iPhone sijui niko na stop being stupid nalo can you just grow up for a little you know for a minute at least mbele ya media just grow mbele ya media alafu ende utoto upeleke utoto huko so this guy is busy here kupatia my youth pressure youth man skizeni hapo nje huu kijana huu ni mwizi na ni bega Hizi vitu zote ana flaunt amegonga mtu hiyo siku. Huyu analia ni pesa ngapi? Haya. 20k. Huyu analia ngapi? Angalia hapa. Twende WhatsApp. Huyu analia ngapi hizi? Hizi ni ni pesa ngapi? How much is this? 50. 50,000. Anaitwa Raymond? 50,000. 20k. Hizi pesa ndio anaenda ana haya nazo gari. Anaenda anatafuta location, anapiga kipindi. Anawapigia kipindi anawaekea. Wewe unachukua hapo na pressure nini? Oh sijui. Unajua Raymond ako na pesa. Tuletu gazi yetu wake anabebanga nyuma ya gari. Raymond ako na pesa huko na wivu, huko na wivu. Listen.